I'm Amanda Glutz, and it is my great pleasure to present this year's Kids Save Inspirational Voices Award to two truly inspiring women, Lindsay Price and her mom, Diane Price. Uh, many of you know Lindsay for her successful roles in film and TV, starring in classic shows such as Crowd Favorites, My Favorite, Beverly Hills, 90210, and Lipstick Jungle, Becker, Splitting Up Together, and more recently in Netflix, Atypical, just to name a few. But the role Lindsay was really born to play was that of a mother, a role that takes precedence over everything else. And she's a wonderful mother. I've witnessed it many times firsthand. And for anyone lucky enough to call Lindsay their friend, they already know that they have a fierce champion in their corner. She lives and loves such a, with a full open heart and her friends and family uh, in ways that are truly beyond measure, always generous with her time and energy. And when you get to know her, Mother, Diane, you know where she gets it from. Diane is the epitome of love and kindness. And you'll hear she has an amazing story to tell. But before we get to that, we have another friend who wanted to send their congratulations. Hi, I'm Sarah Michelle. And I'm incredibly sad that I can't be there with you in person tonight, but there was no way I was letting the opportunity pass me by to say a few words about my dear friend, Lindsay Price, and her incredible mom, Diane Price. I met Lindsay as a freshman in high school, and instantly we were best friends. And a few years later, when I moved 3,000 miles away to Los Angeles, Lindsay, Diane, and Bill and Brian basically adopted me into their home. I had a family where I didn't have any family. There was never a birthday, a holiday, or a Sunday night dinner where I didn't feel like I had a place to be and a place to belong. And I think a lot of that has to do with Diane being adopted. It was something that she was always open about and always talked to us about the importance and how that changed her life and the way that she saw the world. Now that Lindsay has a family of her own, it hasn't stopped either one of them from doing the tireless work to spread the important message of adopting older kids and teens. I love the work that Kids Save does. And when I heard that Lindsay and Diane were getting their Inspirational Voices Award, I thought, that makes sense. An incredible organization and two incredible human beings. Lindsay and Diane, I am so proud of you and I love you both madly. And Kids Save, thank you for all that you do and all that I know you will continue to do. As passionate advocates for adoption, Lindsay and Diane continue to help raise awareness for the gift that adoption is, especially of older kids who sometimes feel their chance of finding a family has left them. So for the amazing mothers they are, and for being champions for the adoption of older kids, for sharing so openly their journey, Lindsay Price and Diane Price are this year's Kids Save Inspirational Voices. everyone. Thanks, Amanda, for your kind words. And Kids Save, gosh, thank you for this honor. We are truly humbled by it. <laughs> Listen, we don't champion adoption for um, recognition or awards, though I have to say this is super nice. <laughs> But um, we do it to honor my mom's story, her journey, and the change that it created for all of us. So you should say something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a lot to say, but in the short version, I'd like to share something that lives in my heart day to day. Uh, look at me. I am the product of what happens when someone listens to love within themselves and spring into action. What do you think? I look pretty good, right? <laughs> when I was five, my 
I'm sorry, I'm, my heart is uh, pounding pretty hard. When I was five, my father was killed during the Korean War. And shortly after, my mother abandoned me and sending me and my three-year-old brother to live with relatives. These relatives were repeatedly hurt us. So we ran away and found our way into an orphanage together. Conditions in the orphanage were poor at first, but got better. We still started getting help from the Americans and World Vision, which was founded after four journalists came to Korea. After the war, saw what life was like for us. In order to raise awareness of our plight, World Vision came up with a plan to put together a choir of orphans who would travel the world and sing songs to people. Out of 30,000 kids, I was one of the lucky 30 to be selected. I did two tours, once when I was 10, and again I was 12. I got to see the world and do things like on the Ed Sullivan Show, performed in Carnegie Hall. But my most important introduction was to Bill Price, who put together the Korean Orphan Choir and his wife, Doris. They felt moved in their hearts, asked if I wanted to be adopted into their family. And of course, I said, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> there was a reason for that. I told them I didn't want to leave my brother behind in Korea. But by the end of the second tour, when I was 12, I said yes, if they promised to adopt my brother too. And they did. They adopted both of us. I finally started my new life with my family, and I had my challenges, and we as a family were put to the test. But through every test, I healed a bit more, I transformed, I learned, and loved. Prior to that, my heart had grown numb to what love was. But with my family, I left myself go from feeling unwanted to being a wanted person. I am the product of love. People, when people in action, love blooms and lives are formed and changed. Today, I am mother of two grown kids who make me very, very proud, and grandmother of two very smart, kind boys. <laughs> and very good looking, too. <laughs> they take after me, <laughs> obviously. And my brother lives 40 minutes away from me. He has three kids and grandkids of his own. I see him often, and I see my daughter and grandkids all of the time. My husband, Bill, passed away a couple of years ago unexpectedly. So my son has been staying with me to keep an eye on me as I gain my feet. And I will, because I have family. Because of family, all of my needs are met. I don't have to worry about whether or not I am going to have a place to go to sleep at night. I will never be sick and unable to get help I need. I will never have to go to bed hungry, and all because someone listened to call of love within themselves and sprang into action. So, if you're being spoken to, listen. If you are able to do something, do it. 
No act is too small. No act is insignificant. Thank you. Amazingly strong is my mom. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Thank you for reminding me every day about the importance of carrying love with me in everything that I do. I am the evidence that love and the generational change that adoption brings without the adoption of my mother and the path it placed her on, I wouldn't be here. My brother wouldn't be here. My gorgeous, amazing kids wouldn't be here. <laughs> and Curtis, well, you would be here, but you'd probably just be a really just sad, desperately lonely <laughs> chef. <laughs> right? So, See, that's the thing that adoption is. It not only changes the life of the child and the family at the center of it, but it also creates these beautiful ripples that flow from it. And our family is proof of that. And that's why we are so proud to support organizations who are creating life-changing ripples. And they are life-changing every single day, and it's why I will continue to use my voice and be a champion for older kids and foster care and for the gift of adoption every chance I get. Right now, in the U.S. alone, <laughs> yeah. Right now in the U.S. alone, there are over 391,000 kids waiting for families to love them. Millions more wait worldwide. And those kids deserve love. They deserve a chance at a family. And they deserve to feel what my mom felt in finding a forever family to call her own. To feel that love, to feel that safety, to feel a world of possibilities open before them, to feel that they have people to be on this beautiful journey of life with them. So thank you, Kids Say, for honoring us this year with your Inspirational Voices Award. And I encourage all of us here tonight to continue to use our voices and bring conversations around mentoring, hosting, and adopting into our daily lives, to be the voice for older kids who may feel unheard and let's all work to create change for them, okay? Thank you. Thank you.